I'm less concerned about um, white people understanding where we're coming from and, and that kind of uni unity. I think first we need the, the, real, the real black unity, that, 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 that true um, connection to uh, just to oppress people, period. Um, to melanated beings, to non-whites, to really understand that we are in a system that doesn't necessarily, where we all can't be Barack Obama. If we can't use that as an excuse, that we have a black president, you can do whatever you want to, but there's only one president, and there can only be one, so everybody can't be president. Um, so I think the first thing is really to, to, to begin to really do the active work to bridge our community, our people together to talk about what, what, what they need to talk about. Um, I, 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 right now, I have less concern about what we can do to unite with white people and all that, only because we still have so much work to do ourselves. Um, the, the gap between young and old, but between young and young, between, between 82nd and 83rd, you know, between Berkeley and Oakland, between East and West Oakland, between Alcorn and Ghost Town. There's so much divide within our own communities between the sisters and the brothers, between the old and the young. What, what we have to do is work about that first. And, and even too, man, the, this whole thing with, with, with the separation between our brothers in Africa and our brothers and sisters out here. Yeah. We, fun, we, we funkin' out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We come from the same root. You know what I mean? Like, we gotta end that, man. You know, I, I, <laughs> we gotta have it. We gotta be on the same page, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got this. <laughs> we all on the white pages, but we tripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Based on the ink. You know what I mean? So we, we gotta come together on that tip. And this in general, man, we, we gotta get rid of this post-traumatic slave disorder stuff, man. This Willie Lynch, you know what I mean? Really backstabbing each other, man. We gotta start seeing the humanity in each other again, man, as people. And then we can bridge out and see humanity in other folks. So not because she's a white sister, but I'm trying to look for her humanity and see where her heart is. You know what I mean? Once you start seeing people's heart is, you see what their intention can be. Not what they're trying to think about, what they already feel. So that's what I hope, man, um, uh, that we can do. Because, <laughs> man, yo, we got to do it. We got to do it. We got to come together, man. You, If you put all the colors together in a crayon box, they all equal black, man. So why are we fighting? D-Ray says, you don't got to start something, just stop something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop this going on in the neighborhood. Stop all that stuff, and you will automatically start something. We got to stop doing what we're not not doing and what we should be doing. Just so stop it. Stop it and watch what comes out of it. Man, for me, there's nothing new. There's no magic formula. You know what right. I mean? It, 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 it's not like we have to create something that's never existed before. All the answers, um, you, you, you've heard the, um, the saying that uh, there's no new knowledge. Everything and no new idea. Any of these type of things. It's because we already have the information. We have the equipment. We have the people. We have the knowledge. We have, we have the heart. We have the vigor. We have everything we need to do it. All we need to do is listen. We need to sit down and listen to one another. It's very simple. We need to sit down and listen and talk it out and build. We gotta sing. We gotta dance. We gotta cry. We gotta laugh. We gotta do the things necessary. But we gotta build. We gotta unite. And use art to do it. <laughs> well, honestly, since y'all talking about films, uh, me, uh, Martin came up with this concept of writing a play based on the uh, actual meme between uh, Huey P. Newton and Felix Mitchell. And uh, so we came to do a snippet of it and uh, do some more research as we're um, going to begin to produce later on this year. And, um, you know, trying to reach out, trying to let the old folks know that there's some young people here that are ready to get the torch passed to them if they're ready to extend their hand. I really hope that elders trust, really trust, not hold on to this baton so tight because I know they've held on to it for so long that you can have this personal connection to it. They got to trust, man, that you can hand this thing over and stop trying to shun out these youth. You know what I mean? Because you can't recognize them or understand them or their energy might be a little bit different from yours. You know what I mean? We, we your grandchildren. You know what I'm saying? What, what, we've have, we have a million great grandparents, so some has passed down to us whether we tapping into it or not. But we have what y'all did. So can you know, connect it to us. Oh, and, and straight up on that tip. Um, right now what we have is, 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 is all these youth walking around who are descendants of the crack epidemic, 
who are descendants of, of the war on drugs, who are descendants of all these things. And it was a, what it was, was it was a plan that was covered up by, by, by our government. We know about COINTELPRO, we know about all these things that took away the older generation from the younger generation. And it created this separation. It was, it was a very well-planned and orchestrated event where we had a, just a bunch of zombies, just a bunch of little kids growing up without parents, without older role models, without all these people to tell them right from wrong and all these other type of things to raise themselves. So we really have a, a, a detachment from you, and, and we need that energy. All that energy from the 60s, last of and the 70s and all these great things we were doing, lots of it's lost to, to the needle, to the penitentiary, to all these other things. And we, we need to figure out a way to get that back. And y'all already say y'all went to Africa, right? You know, there's a big problem in Africa right now called rogue elephants, right? Which is basically these big, huge, young elephants running around destroying villages. And you know what's the product for them destroying villages? Because those baby elephants have seen their parents get murdered for their tusks father first, mother second. So as they get older, they see this trauma and now they're acting out by destroying these villages. So think about that comparison to the rogue elephants in Africa to our youth out here in the streets. Babies who have had everything that they love been taken from and now they're destroying the places where they live. It's, 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 we're not too far from nature, you know what I'm saying? And how you stop a rogue elephant is you run with it and get it going towards another direction versus destruction, versus life. Help heal, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we are at Rogue Elephants trying to find our packs. You can catch us on uh, Colored Ink at www.coloredink.org. That's how you can catch us. You can go uh, myspace.com slash martinboss.